What's up, Aries? This is Soul from Intuitive Tarot here to look at your week ahead starting uh, August 26, 2024. Aries, I hope all is well. This week I'm using the Afro Goddess uh, Tarot to deliver your messages. Just going to cleanse the energy from uh, doing Pisces messages and we shall begin. Not reading any reversals. Energies for my Rams this week. What's coming up for Aries? What does Aries have to look forward to? Now, Pisces received the Three of Swords and the Tower, but they had five other major arcanas that were more powerful. That was, you know, definitely take down the energy of that tower. If it, It's going to express itself some way, but it may be something that is not directly impacting or affecting them. I feel it's more on uh, involving, you know, worldly stuff, global stuff, could be local stuff. But we'll see what happens. All right, energies for the Rams. Aries. All right, Aries. First card, we're going to start with, you have the major arcana of the fool. Okay, so Aries, of course, take that leap of faith. This is always about new beginnings, though, for those who are um, having to deal with some sort of fear, have dealt with some sort of fear, hesitancy about moving forward uh, and, you know, towards anything that you want to do. Uh, just, you know, drop those fears and just do it. Okay. The universe here, the four is usually the universe coming in to let you know that it's safe for you to do whatever it is that you want to try to do. That's if you're the ram that has something planned or lined up to do, but you were just not really sure feeling down for whatever, and just go for it. For the other Rams that don't have anything planned or lined up to do, there's always an element of a new beginning opening up in your life in some area, okay? Otherwise, take that leap of faith. Then we have the Ten of Wands, just a busy bee, okay? So some of you will have some energy here to do whatever it is that uh, you need to do, whether it's um, you know on the schedule or not busy being next we have the seven of cups seven of cups options pay attention to your intuition there may be multiple options that open up to you if that is the choice then make sure that you are paying attention to your intuition so that you are choosing correctly seven of cups showing up in your spread in general is just i always feel that there is when it comes to these relationships being that this is an open general reading you know uh so we're talking we're, we're including you know platonic friendships family and and romantic partners there could be a greater dedication of that energy coming towards you from those people that i had just mentioned family members platonic friends or um romantic partners or you could be extending that energy out to them all right then we have the page of pentacles daughter of pentacles and this just simply means there could be a job offer coming up for aries uh, always, of course, a birth of a business idea, and it could be somebody maybe offered a job in a different area or a city. I'm um, looking at the skyline in the background. Offered employment or career change or something in a different uh, city, or it could be a state. The Daughter of Pentacles could be regarded also to Aries as you looking at the beginning stages of your financial situation finally leveling out beginning to make sense to you on top of the page of uh pentacles now we have the three of pentacles okay this is collaborating working um being recognized or you know for some work that you've done whether it's you know involving your actual work your employment or something that you've done on the outside could have been working on a project or whatnot but this way in this instance, the Three of Pentacles simply means that there is some type of recognition that will be presented to you. Um, energies are going up Monday, tomorrow, the 26th. So by Wednesday, maybe a thank you, congratulations, could be a small pay raise coming through. And, you know, that sort of fashion, a job well done. And it could be just the completion of a project that you worked on. There's the capacity or compensity to meet or be introduced to somebody new, okay, as well with the Three of Pentacles. 
Then we have the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is actually pretty good here, Aries, because it's usually um, representing an ending of some sort of uh, manner or you know type of energy that you may have been dealing with. Always the um, ending represents uh, you know something new to occur or happen. It's usually positive. Otherwise, it may be that the Ten of Swords is showing up here. Uh, for any Aries, if it's not you, maybe somebody that you know, might be scheduled for inpatient and outpatient surgical procedures. Next, we have the King of Cups, the God of Cups, and this is the father of all love. He's nurturing, caring, supportive, definitely intuitive. And, you know, to receive this cup like the seven, well, this, to receive this cup in your spread is always the... Um, as I see it, the achievement of emotional, um, it could be balance, but it could be emotional happiness, satisfaction, fulfillment, and contentment based on those relationships or the connections that you have. Whether it's your family, romantic partners, friends, uh, co-workers, whatever, there's some sort of element of emotional good standing here. The, the uh, King of Cups is also intuitive, so like the Seven of uh, Cups, pay attention to your intuition, trust the process, always trust your gut feelings, those inner voices that you hear. This could represent uh, male energies, of course, it could be <clears throat> any, uh, you know, father, husband, boyfriend, could be a boss, could be an uncle, whatever, whatever that energy may be for you. OK, but he is very caring and he's very supportive and nurturing as well. On top of the uh, King of Cups here for you, Aries, look at this, the Ten of Cups. Damn. OK. Ten of Cups is an even number of cups. It's just like the King of Cups, that emotional happiness, fulfillment and achievement being, um, you know, satisfaction being accomplished. Even number of cups, definitely emotionally what you give is what you're going to give back this week. Someone could be getting married. This energy I feel runs right into Labor Day. So some of you may be going to Labor Day or, you know, it's the last um, energy before we enter into fall. You know, celebrating, getting together, right? Uh, so it could be with family members, friends. Again, somebody could be getting married. So, and yeah, a form of celebrations in a good way. After that, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Two tens in a reading is very auspicious. Ten of Pentacles in this case here is about abundance. It's about big money. It's about inheritances. You can see the couple walking up the uh, pathway there to a house. So somebody could be purchasing a home, you know. Somebody could be doing that. Um, for the single rams out there, you know, you're independent, taking care of your own needs and wants. If you're in a relationship, you're equally sharing each other's um, needs and wants or taking care of each, you know, taking care of each other's needs and wants. If you're the risk taking uh, ram that likes to go to uh, casinos, play the lottery, scratch-offs, whatever, just play responsibly. This is big money. It still would be, you know, I would throw in promotions, pay raises, and bonus money as well. Yeah. All right, but you got two tens here. Up next here, we have the Four of Cups socializing. In alignment with the uh, Ten of Cups in terms of celebrating socializing with family members, friends, romantic partners, just having a grand time engaging each other, equal number of cups. So what you give is what you're going to get back. I oftentimes get that some of this energy relates to, um, you know, din you know, diners and restaurants, eating out. On top of the four of cups, now we have the seven of swords. Seven of swords is always the type of energy where Aries, people from your past, so that could be, you know, family members, uh, friends that you have excommunicated with, or it could be exes themselves. Well, when the Seven of Swords shows up here, that means that the energy could be, you know, be so that, it, you know, they're still lingering around somewhere, Un not resolving any conflicting energies. They're still conflicted. So just, you know, pay attention to your intuition 
and know that if these people resurface for whatever reasons, they're up to no good. They're not going to bring nothing new or add to the table. So be careful. Uh, for other areas who aren't dealing with that type of energy here, there's some material things that may uh, resurface for you that you thought you lost, put down, misplaced, forgot about. That energy returns with the Seven of Swords. Up next now we have the Five of Cups, sadness, a small bout of sadness and disappointment, but it may not be you, it may be your child, it may be your romantic partner, it may be your friend, it may be someone else in the family. She's standing before three cups that are turned over, but she doesn't notice the two cups that are behind her that are full. Okay, so this is temporary energy if it does express itself, or it could simply mean that Aries just goes through a bout of a mood this week, and it's not going to stick around too long. Then we have the Nine of Pentacles. There's the money. Pay raises. One of my financial independent cards. Rewarding yourself or gifting yourself for something that you worked hard for. Now, the recognition could come through your employer. By way of your employer through a promotion, pay raise, a, b a bonus money, right? Or there's something else that you may have worked hard on, uh, Aries, uh, outside of work. But now this card comes through. To say, hey, you know what? Just sit back, relax, take it easy. You've accomplished whatever it is that you worked hard for. Now it's time for the universe to pay you back. Again, hence, enjoying the fruits of your hard work and your labor comes back to you, you know, tenfold. Financially independent card. Okay. Also, like the Seven of Cups, multiple options that may present themselves to you this week in some fashion. Spending and splurging. This is different than the Ten of Pentacles. This is big money, but this is also too big money. But I get if you have the means to spend or if there's something that comes to you in the form of promotions, pay raises, bonus money, and then you have that opportunity, treat yourself, okay? But if you do treat yourself and you have the opportunity to have that money, don't feel guilty about it. This card always comes through Aries as a deserving type of energy. What you've done is what the universe now is going to pay back to you. Then we have, look at that, the Eight of Pentacles sitting right on top of the uh, Nine of Pentacles. So again, balanced energy, uh, pay raises. Um, some of you may be just paying attention to the details of what you actually do in terms of your work. Nothing wrong with that. Two of Swords, make a decision. You got a choice to make this week, Aries. Now, maybe involving someone uh, that's above here in terms of the Ten of Cups, family members, romantic partners, or friends. And or it could be, yeah, because the King of Cups sits underneath there, too. But it's a choice to be made. Feeling like you're at a crossroad, just a mild bit of anxiety, not to worry about it. This is my same-sex loving energy. Uh, but I always get that you could be out and about of course, dorm road traveling or whatever, and there's some sort of construction energy going on, and then you just reroute it to a, you know, go a different way. And that's it. All right, so this is what I have for you, uh, Aries. It looks very interesting to me, but remember, uh, it's just me interpreting these messages here. Take what's going to work for you. Leave the rest alone. Uh, however, please like the video, share the video, comment. I love to read the comments, and I appreciate the comments. You guys have a safe, great week ahead. Come back to get more of these messages from me, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.